Changes in Earth's circle empowered the development of complex life. By University of Southampton. Researchers at the University of Southampton have found that adjustments of Earth's circle may have permitted complex life to arise and flourish during the most unfriendly environment scene the planet has at any point experienced. The scientists, working with associates in the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Curtin University, University of Hong Kong, and the University of Tübingen, considered a progression of rocks set down when the majority of Earth's surface was canvassed in ice during a serious glaciation, named Snowball Earth, that kept going more than 50 million years. Their discoveries are distributed in the diary Nature Communications. Quite possibly the most key difficulties to the Snowball Earth hypothesis is that life appears to have endure, says Dr. Thomas Gernon, Associate Professor in Earth Science at the University of Southampton, and co-creator of the examination. Thus, it is possible that it didn't occur, or life some way or another kept away from a bottleneck during the serious glaciation. The examination group wandered into the South Australian outback where they designated kilometer-thick units of frigid rocks shaped around 700 million years prior. As of now, Australia was found nearer to the equator, known today for its heat and humidities. The stones they considered, notwithstanding, show unequivocal proof that ice sheets stretched out the extent that the equator right now, giving convincing proof that Earth was totally shrouded in a frosty shell. The group concentrated on joined iron formations, sedimentary rocks comprising of rotating layers of iron-rich and silica-rich material. These stones were stored in the ice-shrouded sea close to epic ice sheets. During the snowball glaciation, the frozen sea would have been altogether cut off from the climate. Without the typical trade between the ocean and air, numerous varieties in environment that regularly happen essentially wouldn't have. This was known as the sedimentary test to the snowball speculation, says Professor Ross Mitchell, educator at the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing, China and the lead creator. United Iron Development at Oraparina, South Australia. Credit. University of Southampton. The profoundly factor rock layers seem to show cycles that looked a great deal like environment cycles related with the development and retreat of ice sheets. Such inconstancy was believed to be at chances with a static snowball earth burying the entire sea in ice. The iron comes from aqueous vents on the ocean bottom, added Gernon. Regularly, the air oxidizes any iron quickly, so banded iron formations ordinarily don't gather. However, during the snowball, with the sea cut off from the air, iron had the option to amass enough for them to shape. Utilizing attractive vulnerability, a proportion of the degree to which the stones become polarized when presented to an attractive field, the group made the revelation that the layered stone files safeguard proof for practically all orbital cycles. Earth's circle around the Sun changes its shape and the slant and wobble of Earth's twist hub likewise go through cyclic changes. These galactic cycles change the measure of approaching sunlight-based radiation that arrives at Earth's surface and, in doing as such, they control environment. Despite the fact that Earth's environment framework acted contrastingly during the snowball, Earth's orbital varieties would have been willfully ignorant and just kept on doing their thing, clarifies Professor Mitchell. The specialists presumed that adjustments of Earth's circle permitted the coming and going of ice sheets, empowering occasional without ice locales to create on snowball Earth. Teacher Mitchell clarified, this discovering settle one of the significant disputes with the snowball Earth theory. The long-standing perception of huge sedimentary changeability during the snowball earth glaciations showed up at chances with a particularly outrageous decrease of the hydrological cycle. The group's outcomes assist with clarifying the baffling presence of sedimentary rocks of this age that show proof for streaming water at Earth's surface when this water ought to have been secured up ice sheets. Dr. Gernon states, this perception is significant, on the grounds that mind-boggling multicellular life is presently known to have begun during this time of environment emergency, yet already we were unable to clarify why. Our examination focuses to the presence of sands ice, desert gardens, in the snowball sea that gave an asylum to creature life to endure ostensibly the most outrageous environment occasion in Earth history, Dr. Gernon finished up.